coffee is cold. The sun is blinding me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Wednesday. There are a couple things I want to share in this video, and one of them is not how messy my studio is. I need to clean my studio. One, so I won't be accused of clickbait, is I just purchased a few Copics and Copic refills and a Copic multiliner, and I want to show you those. See so you, because I, I don't know, I find that interesting. Fragile. The biggest thing that I needed to get was refills for my Copic markers. So I got these eight refills, YG63, P Green, BG99, Flagstone Blue, BG34, Horizon Green, E77, Maroon, Y32, Cashmere, B01, Mint Green, I mean Mint Blue, R20 Blush, and I can't believe that I haven't had to buy a refill for this one because I use this marker all the time and R81 Rose Pink, which is another one that I love a lot. I also picked up three new markers. I got this E01, which is Pink Flamingo. It does not look like a flamingo. Then I got this one, which is a BG90, which is Sky Gray. It looks a lot darker right now because it is wet. When it dries, it's really not that dark. Mm, I don't know that I would have gotten this one. And lastly, V28 Eggplant. And I got this one because I have these three that come before it. And I love these two. These are my, one of the first markers that I purchased. And I love this, this run of V20, V22, and V25. And so I wanted to finish the run of V28 because all four of these go really great together. But the thing is, looking at my chart, here's V28 swatched here. And it is very close to BV23, like they're super close. This one has just maybe a little hint warmer than this one. For the most part, almost exactly the same color. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, you can see here how light that one is. So there you go, swatched next to each other. I mean, there's a little bit of difference, but if you're just starting out collecting Copic markers, I would not worry about having to get both of these right away. This is one of those you get when you're like, gotta catch them all. Because you could easily, if you had this one, add an overlay of a light pink over top of it and get this one. What other artists find Copic markers that are similar to each other and let me know about that. On my Copic chart, you'll see that I have all these little writings and, and I write those down. So if someone says, BG11 is the same as BG10, there's not that big of a difference, then I just make a little notation on that. It's not that I won't ever buy that one, but I know that if there's another color that I really want that I don't have one that's similar, I'm going to get that one first before I get ones that are super the same. Also here are the other swatches now that they're all dried, and I also got a new Micron 0.3 um, black pant. I used to get the ones that had the refills, but um, I actually like these ones better. They're not as heavy. I don't like heavy things. So I like lightweight art materials. So. so if you're ever wondering, what's the difference between the multi-liner SP and just a regular multi-liner? These ones you can actually refill and replace the nibs, but for the price of the refill and the nib, you can buy just another one of these. And the second thing I want to share with you is about Inktober. And I just realized something, and I meant to realize this something on the day that it happened. I told myself, oh yeah, this day we'll make a big woohoo about it. But then I forgot, and then someone else made a big woohoo about it. And uh, so now I'm making my woohoo after the fact, which always seems to be the case. I'm always late to the party. And that is, we are officially halfway through Inktober. If you have been able to keep up with Inktober every single day, that is awesome. I have missed one day. I'm going to go back and do it, but I missed one day. I missed my, probably my, one of my favorite prompts, and it was whale. I just wasn't home. Now, I know I had started off by posting a video every single day of that Inktober's drawing, and then I decided to switch that up into just doing like a recap of the, the week together, um, just because with how YouTube works, if a video doesn't get a lot of views, then 
the next video doesn't get promoted as much. It kind of hurts your videos. And while I want to share my daily videos, I just began seeing that daily videos on the same topic of drawing and ink drawing and usually set to music aren't the most exciting things and aren't high on everyone's priority list to watch. So tell me, help you, help me. I decided to do just a recap video. So you're still seeing every single day, except for the whale, because I have another one yet. And some pretty fun pieces have taken place. Now, for the most part, all of my, this is yesterday's Inktober Angular. I did a building, you guys, a building. I don't do buildings. But so far, all of my Inktobers have been in the sketchbook except for one. This is this one right here, which I did, I think, last Saturday's video, and it was the three marker challenge with the Copic Colors. She's so cool. I like her. I asked you guys to tell me a little bit about her story. I kind of gave a, an idea of what I thought was going on, and then I wanted to hear what you guys thought the conclusion would be or some more information. And if you love reading stories, I highly recommend that you go and check this video out because you guys put some amazing story ideas in the comment section below. While I was creating day 15, which actually is the halfway mark, woo I, the, the prompt was weak. And I was trying to think of something to draw that would represent weak. And the next part of the story came. <laughs> it's still not done yet. So what you're seeing here is the drawing process for, for weak. And in my story idea, and taking some of the tips and ideas that you guys gave me in the comment section, is that this girl, she still doesn't have a name. I haven't chosen a name. There's a lot of really good names that you guys suggested. And you guys, and definitely feel free to put in more suggestions to the names in the comments of this video. Choose like the most popular name or find a name in the comments and like it or whatever. We'll pick a name for her before the next addition to her story. But so this this girl, she is a, a handmaiden to the princess of the kingdom, as was in the other story. Anyway, if you want to hear that story, go and see that video. Go watch that video right now. Put it like right here as a little card. Boop, right there. So during the battle, this girl is defeated and the princess is taken away. And she's so sad because she wasn't able to do her job. She wasn't able to protect her princess. And so she leaves the kingdom in disgrace. And after she leaves, she runs into old time warrior guy... Maybe he's a retired knight. Maybe he's just an arms trainer. Um, anyway, he's a master fighter. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, she begins to train under his tutelage to become stronger than what she was before. But as with anything, as you tackle a new skill, whether it's fighting or fencing or swordplay or art, it's hard and you fail a lot. So that's what this picture represents is she just doesn't come become a, a, an amazing warrior overnight. It's a process. It's a journey. And there's a lot of times that she feels weak. And it really resonated with me because a lot of times in my art journey, even now, I feel really weak and vulnerable. Just last month when I was at the Rose City Comic Con, I had a huge moment of feeling huge insecurities about being a professional artist. So we all deal with that. We all have weaknesses. We all have areas in our life that we're building ourselves up, making ourselves stronger. And it's okay to be weak. It's okay to have places that we need to work on. It's okay not to be strong all the time. If I would have given in to my insecurities and the fact that I was feeling vulnerable and weak and didn't push myself in hard areas, then I wouldn't have had the experiences that I had. So that is the next part of her story. Where does it go on from there? Well, I'm looking over the upcoming prompts for this coming month. And while not every single one of them applies to her story, I do see a few that will begin to tell the rest of this story. And I'm hoping to have it all told in the next 15 days, less than 15 days, before the end of this month. If you enjoy stories, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future additions to this story or other stories that I might be doing. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And then if you would, could you share this video on your social media because sharing is caring. And as always, God bless you guys and we'll see you in another art video or story video or Inktober video. Bye! Hey guys, look, it's like that filter. Oh, this is the real deal. I think I'm burning my retina.